How's it going, everybody? It's Kevin here once again, giving our gameplay commentary. Now you're looking at this going like, what is this? I don't recognize this. Well, if any of you guys have played Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, you definitely recognize it. I recently bought this game on PC because I've had too many member berries to not play this game. And so what I want to talk about in this video is how should Modern Warfare 2 be remastered? Alright guys, so our first match here is on the good old map rundown. It's a classic. Pretty much all the maps in this game are could be considered a classic. And I forgot about that snipe spot. <laughs> it's been so long since I've played this game. Oh man. But yeah, so what I want to do in this video is talk about Modern Warfare 2 and whether or not it should be remastered. And well, we all pretty much know that it's going to get remastered. I suggest why it's going to be because, you know, all the Call of Duties right now are backwards compatible on the Xbox One except for two games, Call of Duty 4 and Modern Warfare 2. And all the other games are backwards compatible. And guess what happened? They had a remaster happen of the Call of Duty 4 game. So I'm assuming, you know, with the popularity of Modern Warfare 2, it's probably going to happen as well for this game. Does this guy run past me? That was a guy. Yeah, let's take him out. So, in this video, I want to talk about why... Oh, I got sniped. Why should it be remastered? Well, it's going to be. And I want to talk about how it should be remastered. Because this game was not perfect. Far, far from perfect. But, the thing is, though, this game was very, very fun. And for all the right reasons, and also for all the wrong reasons. Now, when it comes to remastering a game, obviously we're gonna get brand new textures and all that good stuff, but to what extent should this game be fixed? Because obviously this game has some fundamental flaws that were broken with the game, so those need to be fixed, like silencer's not working, and line of sight's not lining up properly, and things like that. But while we're at while we're at it fixing the game, should we also fix some of the parts that were really imbalanced with the game that people really hated? Say it is like one man army noob tubes comes for it comes to an example right here. Should one man one man army replenish up your uh, your explosives, or should they you know not? And that's a very big important question to ask when it comes to playing this game. Of how much should you tinker with the formula of this game? Should you just leave it as is, give it a new texture, and call it good, or should you go in and try to make it into something that people actually wanted back in the day? Because you now people really really wanted this game patched up. Me, me included, to make it much more balanced, much more fair experience. Patching Danger Close noob tubes, um, changing one man army so it doesn't change, you know, re do uh, replenish explosives, but also things like removing tack inserts from free for all, something that later at all didn't happen. So there's so many, there's such a long list of changes that, you know, quality of life improvements that happened with Call of Duty over the years. You know, changing from score kill streaks to score streaks to improve uh, gameplay so people didn't camp for kill streaks and actually play the objective. Now, should all these improvements be added into Modern Warfare 2 Remaster, or do you should what's or should you say that just leave it as is and you know it was it was a flawed beauty of a game basically it's a flawed masterpiece if you want to call it that because this was definitely was the high peak of the franchise I'd feel for all the hype that the game had and everything in between. Oh, let's get this guy with the shotty. I'm just getting all the hit markers right now with the Spaz 12. I love the Spaz 12 in Modern Warfare 2. It's one of my all-time favorite guns. I mean, I certainly have my opinions of what I would like to see change, but then at the at some point, where do you s draw the line of it fixing the game and it improving the game, or it being something beyond what Modern Warfare 2 is? Oh my god, another one. Thank you! We got our Harriers! And also, while we're on the topic of score kill streaks. Should kill streaks also build to your next kill streak like they do in this game? Obviously, with uh, games like in uh, Black Ops One, first initiated the whole thing of kill streaks not building to your next kill streak. You have to get the all gun kills. I really want to get this AC-130 going. Yes, let you guys know I am going for the nuke in this game right now. Let's go for it. And personally, I do enjoy. I used to not like the idea of killstreaks building to your next killstreak, but after playing you know, other games, I kind of found that like it's just easier to get your killstreaks when killstreaks built on, build on top of each other, and it's just more user friendly, more fun, really, more casual, which I think is kind of like the essence of what Call of Duty is. It's just a casual shooter. Come on, let me get this guy. Oh my god, I can't get these guys. I can't aim that high, no! Oh gosh. I can't aim that high. 
Oh my gosh, we're so close again, that nuke, guys. Holy crap. Oh gosh. My heart beats pumping. No! Oh, my kill streak! Damn it! Oh man, if I just. I bet you if I ran with the chopper gun, I would have had that nuke. But, you know, I like using AC-130 more. But, God, the guy kept snuck up behind me with Ninja. I couldn't hear his footsteps. Oh, that's a shame. But, yeah, leave it in the comment section down below, guys, what you would like to see change from 1 over 2. Because, obviously, this game don't get remastered. But, in what way? Should it be completely redone to the point give you all the quality of life improvements that have been brought to Call of Duty? Or should it kind of just give you what the game was back in 2009 and just kind of, you know, it was kind of broken, kind of messed up, but you know, you gotta deal with it. So I personally, like, because so at what point do you change the game to make it better? Or what point do you change the game to make it into your own kind of thing? Or would you guys like to see a Modern Warfare 2 remastered? I mean, I certainly would like it. I think it'd be great. And, but, but only if they gotta give the quality of life improvements that uh, were offered in the next installments of Call of Duty after this game was released. I mean, would, would you remove the perk last stand? I mean, that was a main third tier perk in the game. I mean, personally, everyone hated that perk. Would you remove Death Streaks? It's kind of like, you know, it's a slippery slope once you, once you get to it. 30 and 6, that first game, that was a good start. Let's jump right into another one here. Alright, so I swear to God, this is not a different match right here. I just played the same map again. So, the reason why I brought up, like, what, you know, at what point does it become a remaster and what point does it become its own game? Uh, the reason I bring this up because, uh, if you guys don't know, Knights of the Old Republic is being remastered, was being remastered, but then after all the changes and improvements that were made to that game, uh, last time I read that they decided to go, you know what, we're going to make this into our own game. Like, it's been modified so much that they can literally call it a brand new game. Oh, there you go. So I'm definitely excited for that. I mean, it's a base if the game is based off of KOTOR, then... If it's gonna be a KOTOR where it's just like kind of like game with better graphics, then I'm all for it. I mean, that's kind of like what Mass Effect was, essentially. But you're trying to get, you get my point here that Hall's true should you stay to Modern Warfare 2. I mean, obviously, my changes, I would love to see Death Streaks removed, Score Streaks instead of Kill Streaks. I like to keep the Kill Streaks building towards your next Kill Streak in this game just because how crazy the stuff is. Uh, I would like to see a change to one man army so they don't replenish explosives obviously iron sights all iron sights that don't line up properly to line up properly silencers that don't work to actually work so you're kind of getting my idea here of like things that need to be fixed and things that thought would need to be changed removal of last stand but then at that point it's kind of going like okay dude you're changing so much why don't you just make your own call of duty game you know what i mean here we go nice little double kill there Oh, they know I'm here. I back it up a little bit here. Oh, wow! That guy flew around the corner right there super fast, dude. MLC legit! Can't forget about that kill shake, but at least he's not using it like an annoying MLC legit player would. So leave in the comment section down below, guys. What are your thoughts on a Modern Warfare 2 remastered game? Should it happen? Does it need to happen? Would you even buy it? Would you play it? You know, let me know. I do read all the comments and try to reply to most of them as well. So yeah, I know it was Call of Duty content, but hey, you know, I definitely do love Call of Duty when it's done right. So hopefully, you know, we are obviously going to get a Modern Warfare 2 remaster, but it just depends how, I guess. Should it just be left as it was and all its flawed glory, or should it be remastered, fixed to update it to the quality of life standards that we have now in Call of Duty? Anyways guys, thank you so much for watching, I greatly appreciate it. Catch you all in the next video. Peace out.